guys. Welcome to another video. All right, I'm starting off this video a little bit different today. As you can see, there ain't nobody here. I'm the only one here. So my family left today and they all went to Turks and Caicos. I would prefer to be in Turks and Caicos and soaking up the beach and having me a nice drink and shamaka, shamaka, shamaka. But guess what? I gotta work. I got a lot of showings this week. I got a lot of work to do. But, what is work without a little play? So tonight, I'm actually going to Packers and Boca Raton. And I think I introduced you guys to my friend Danny. He's a great comedian. He actually works with me in real estate. And he's a really, really, really good friend of mine. So tonight, we're gonna go watch him do stand up and a few other people at Packers and Boca Raton. And I'm sure it's gonna be pretty lit. So yeah. That's what we're about to do. Let's get it. Hey! Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so now I'm on my way to Packers to go see my friend Danny, as I told you guys earlier. I'm sure this is about to be an amazing show and the food's gonna be awesome, so we're on our way there. But while I'm sitting here at this red light, as I just wanna tell you guys that um, no matter what life throws at you, whether it's health issues, whether it's financial issues, no matter what, if it's people being mean to you or whatever the case might be, no matter what life throws at you, try to always see the positive and the negative guys you know people in life they they get to the point where they just give up way too easily and they wondering why changes are not happening in their life and I just want to tell you guys always fight for what you want fight for your dreams fight for what you want out of life and if you fight hard enough you will be you're gonna get it it's gonna happen you just have to fight and you have to keep fighting and when you re finally reach the end of that tunnel and you get everything that you want in life, you will see that everything that you put into it and all the fighting that you have done was worth it. So guys, that's my point of the day. Now let's go have some fun and listen to some comedy, y'all. Alright guys, so we just got to Packies. It's actually Packies, it's not Packers. I don't know why I've been saying Packers the whole time, but it's Packies. Uh, waiting on Madison to show up. He's actually coming out to watch tonight too. So yeah, we just got here. We're gonna go in here, watch some comedy, and um, eat some good food. My friend Travis came out here tonight. Travis is black, I've got one black guy out here. He's always gotta have one black guy everything else. My regular black guy couldn't be here tonight, so I brought Travis with me tonight. I don't usually do a lot of crowd work, but I love Travis. Travis and I work together as realtors. I love doing comedy here because I grew up in West Boca. I went to Coral Sunset Elementary, went to Loggers Run Middle, went to West Boca High. Grabbed my first boob right here at the West parking lot. Boss, uh, bought my first bag of weed from a guy at Subway. I've been drinking at Packy since high school. I mean, 21. But... I love coming down here. It's pretty awesome. So yeah, uh, people don't still don't realize there's Brazilians in Boca, and there's a lot of Brazilians. Uh, they're like, how many Brazilians? I'm like, okay, in Boca Raton, for every one iguana you see, there's two Brazilians trying to eat it. Oh my God! <laughs> Wow. It might not be true anymore because it got so cold this month, a lot of Brazilians froze to death at night. Yeah. <laughs> kind of sad. I know. Brazil, if you ever go, it is a lot like Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Uh, there's a big brown river. <laughs> a lot of short people with big butts just singing and dancing everywhere. I'll be honest, one time I got booed in bed. I got booed in bed. I'm not lying. The girl just was like, boo! Boo! I was so shocked, I dropped my sandwich. I was like, wow. <laughs> I dropped the sandwich. Fucking ruined my meal, man. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate that. 
I swear we're not dating either. It feels like everyone else is dating. I went to a comedy show this week and a couple was having sex right there in the parking lot. I wanted to make sure it was consensual, so I stared for like 30 minutes. Oh my god! <laughs> I gotta tell people all the time, hey, stop touching my beer. Or hey, let me out of the bathroom. Or no, I'm not related to DJ Khaled, I'm sorry. <laughs> Literally every day someone's like, hey, you know you look like that one guy? Ugh, another one. They're like, yeah, that guy, exactly. My name is Charlie Osterello, Peggy, give it a fucking fuck crowd, thanks so much. One eternity later. What's up guys? All right, so I decided to get myself my own vacation. So I'm here at the beautiful Boca Raton Resort, just relaxing. And I just wanted to add this special message in for you guys. For all my new subs, thank you guys. I greatly appreciate it. I wanna give a special shout out to Caitlin. You are so awesome. So thank you guys. And I promise we will keep making awesome videos for you guys. And see you soon. Peace out.